Reporter Live, Ben Burkwam. He is in uh, Eagles Pass, Texas. Ben, you just heard what the congressman had to say. You're there right now. What are you saying, Ben? Well, it's interesting. You know, we actually right behind me is uh, the railroad bridge that comes in from Piedras Negras. Uh, and as we were down here, we, we took as soon as I got here, there's a little island right in between right behind me. Uh, there was one guy who crossed. So we went down, hiked through the reeds that were back in there and ended up having one of the, the guys on the other side swim over to us. He, he, had, he said he worked for the cartel, uh, actually interviewed him and I have, have this interview we're going to be posting later. Uh, and he said he worked for the cartel, said 100 people cross right there every single day and that every single one of them have to pay the cartel. He didn't say the exact amount, but he said mucho dinero. Uh, and this is what we're seeing. It's not it's 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 confirmed by Border Patrol uh, what the congressman is saying. Uh, we were in Del Rio yesterday and saw the video you're seeing right now. That was a group of about 70 from Venezuela that had crossed and we, they actually crossed right in front of us. They were. Uh, uh, we, there was a third group we were told by Border Patrol that had crossed there, and this is what happens. They'll send these large groups of people across as a distraction while they're sending two or three people downriver or upriver with the fentanyl and the heroin and, uh, or the, uh, the human uh, sex traffickers that they're, they're trying to get across and into the sex rings. So it's, it's, it's not just uh, a crisis down here. It's an invasion, uh, and it, it's just getting worse. I've, I've been down reporting from here for years. I saw what President Trump did and the effectiveness of his, his policies, and now we're seeing what Joe Biden and the Democrats are doing. Either they're inept or they know what they're doing, and it's it's really, uh, it, it should be criminal. I mean, what is happening here should be criminal. They're allowing an invasion into our country. They're undermining American sovereignty, and they, they know it. They have to know it. Even if they haven't visited, they know what's happening. It's, it's sickening. And uh, all of this, you talk about salt in the wound. We're down here with a... Uh, a, a rancher, his name's uh, Mike Miller, he runs uh, Rancho Rio Lindo. He had to shut his ranch down. It was a, a, a hunting ranch. He had to shut his ranch down because of the cartel traffic. And that's about 70 miles north of where we're at now. So now he's running, he's actually started an organization, warriorsforranchers.com to help fight this. So that's why we came down here, then headed down to the border to check out what's happening. And it's the worst I've ever seen it.